Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome! Please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode on our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about mindfulness and what even is the big deal about mindfulness? Why do I even need it? Why should I even practice it? First of all, let's talk about what mindfulness is. Mindfulness is kind of hard to understand because it talks about obscure things things that are not visible or tangible. The mind isn't something that you can see, and energy is something that you can't see or taste or touch either. Literally broken down, the word mindfulness means being in a state where your being is full of your mind. So it's different from your mind being full of all this information and being cluttered. It's your being that's full of your mind. So what is your mind? Simply put, your mind is your attention. Mindfulness is your attention being on you. Your attention being in your being. Looking at you, not looking out. How many minutes in a day would you say that you truly focus your attention on you? And how many minutes in a day would you say that your focus is on anything else but you? Focused on your family, focused on your friends, focused on your spouse, focused on celebrities, focused on the news, focused on anything that can distract your attention away from you. I would say most of us are guilty of focusing our attention on outside things rather than inside. So mindfulness is focusing your attention inward on you. Why? Because you're the most important person in your life. And now I'm not saying this in a selfish way. This is fact. This is true. You in your life are the most important person and should always be your number one priority. Mindfulness is about putting your body's energy, putting your attention back to the number one priority in your life, which is you. When you put your focus back inside, you will know exactly what you are feeling in your body. You will discover what you like, what you don't like, what your dreams are, what your goals are, who you are, what emotions you are feeling, how to deal with those emotions, what problems you have, how to deal with those problems. Most people get stuck in a certain emotional state or get stuck in a certain situation because they don't know exactly what they are feeling. They don't know exactly what the problem is inside. And when you don't know what's happening inside, how can you fix the problem? When your attention is focused on you, you can clearly see how my actions and thoughts are affecting not only me, but also others. For example, if I'm not paying attention to myself, then I might just be sitting, waiting at the bus stop or sitting somewhere, resting my face like this. And if I'm completely unaware of how my expression is like, because I'm not focused here, my mind is spacing out somewhere else, then I don't know how that facial expression is actually changing my energy and also the people who are looking at me like this. On the other hand, if I'm focused on my body, focused on myself, then I can see that having that kind of facial expression changes my energy to be kind of depressed and down and uh, and it also causes that kind of energy for other people. So I can change my facial expression to this. Because I'm focused on my body and seeing how that facial expression changes my energy and also changes other people around me. So in that way, it's about knowing how your actions are being reflected for other people and then changing yourself so that you're changing your energy to something positive and good. With that kind of power, no matter what situation, no matter who you face, you will always be able to maintain a positive, centered and balanced mind. And when you're in that state, nothing and nobody can hurt you. Mindfulness is an act of self-love for yourself and also love for others. If you want to bring positive change into your life and also impact positive change on other people, don't look too big. You don't have to be 
Mahatma Gandhi and you don't have to be Martin Luther King Jr. to change the world. All you have to do is pay attention to yourself and recognize how my actions, my behaviors, my thoughts influence my energy and the energy of other people. If what I'm doing from being able to see myself, if it's hurting me and if it's hurting other people, I have that sense to change it into something positive and good that is good for myself and also good for others. I want to hear your thoughts on mindfulness, so let me know in the comments below what mindfulness means to you. Thanks for tuning in. See you in another video. Bye!